We're rolling. We're rolling, okay, and so we begin, oh, doesn't it look like it even opened up the lens all the way? Kind of a broken camera. So we begin our testing again, another era of different drivers compared to car audio, compared to commercial audio. Over here, we've already tested out the EVX 180A Electro Voice speaker. Great speaker, but it just doesn't compare to what we've been trying lately. And then we've got the EVX 180B, which is a little step up of their other design. I don't know much about the difference in voice calls and stuff like that. Sounds pretty damn good. This one here is the JBL 2241. Not a bad speaker at all. We've been running these for years and years. Good for kick drum and everything else. It does play lows. Uh, we're looking for more output, bringing less drivers into the venue or something like that. So this is our best one yet. The commercial JBL 2242. It's got a little more throw you can see in there. Uh, the travel isn't as good as what we're going to move on to next, obviously. Now, this is our choice between these two here. We have Digital Designs 9918 and it has dual one ohm voice coils and you can see it's got a pretty beefy magnet and everything on there. Lots of throw, we were playing with this one a lot through the winter time, lots of good fun. You can see right in there the voice coil, so we were testing it. We were getting it real hot, we were pushing a lot of wattage through with commercial amplifiers. And then we just bought this one here, the Sundown Audio V4 dual two ohm voice coils. So obviously this won't see as much power as this one on an amplifier in bridge mono. Now what we're gonna do is play with these, put them in 20 cubic feet as you can see these cabinets over here. We are playing with one per box, you know, filling up the holes that we're using on the other cabinets. I mean, there's so many different amplifiers you can use, signals, depends what kind of frequencies you want to hear, remember that. Um, we're just going to fill up the holes, play with the tuning of different vent sizes. Obviously, it's already cut to this size here. Sounds pretty damn good with this one here. Kind of 15 inches deep on a 20 cubic foot box. I think it was. Let's see. I'll give you the full dimensions if you want later. This is a 13 and a half by 18 and a half vent, and it is I think it's 15 inch. We've got a 15 inch depth on the vent, and with the DD, it was playing pretty good from like 60 down to about 25 evenly. Well, I mean, it rolls off before that. But tried the sun down before. Don't have a video of it. Doesn't matter. We're going to do this all over again. Outdoor is what we want to try. Not indoor. Outdoor. See whether or not they play the frequencies even because there's a lot of dips in the sun down. We know this, the curvature. You can hear it. And see if how much resonance behind the cabin is very important to see how much you're hearing on stage. This was not losing a lot, you know, was keeping it all up front most of the time. Uh, the Sundown had a bit more behind it. We have not tried it outdoors, so we'll get on the next video and we'll add them all together and see which one we like. We probably won't so show you a sign uh, RTA of everything, but you'll just have to go by what we say and we'll show you what comes next.